Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Today, we are back here in day seven, and there is a wind streak potential going on here. We have the wind streak event, so hopefully that will help us out as we get into some action today. I also found a way to go ahead and actually be able to purchase things on the shops and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna do that too much right now, but it is something I can do. I might show off one of these, like we have Dave's Tweety Dinkies right now. Before I do, though, I do wanna say that while while I do purchase some of the things, you know, in here for the videos to show to you guys, that doesn't necessarily mean I recommend that other people would. If I was playing the game on my own without making videos for it, I probably wouldn't. It just makes it easier to get through the video sometimes, especially with how difficult the levels are. Personally, if you want my suggestion, I would wait to see, you know, how this game turns out, especially since PVZ3 has been canceled several times before. So maybe see how this game turns out before you spend money on it. If you haven't, I suggest go purchasing the original plants versus zombies that's a great way to spend your money anyways let's go ahead and purchase one of these and see if we can't get some extra power-ups out of it all right so we successfully did it as you can see we get some coins I got the larger bundle so we get a lot of extra power-ups that I'll definitely make the most out of soon but if we have a win streak potential going on here I might want to focus on just sort of getting through that so I'll start using some of these but I'm hoping that after we use these I can build up that win streak with a couple of easier levels and that will help us out a ton so let's do level 165 where we have cabbage pole snow pea and bamboo shoot and I'm hoping that soon there's supposed to be a new plant that was added. Ooh, we got the current going around in a circle here. But yeah, there was supposed to be a new plant that was added with some of these more recent levels, but I've yet to see them. So I'm a little bit confused by that. Curious to see what's gonna happen. We don't get sunflower on our own this time. So we sort of have just to just wait and see uh, where zombies are gonna pop up, I think, before I start putting out too many things, I think. All right. First zombie's gonna be right down there, so I'm just gonna do that. Put out more lily pads whenever I can, because I think we can knock him out before he reaches the rake, and then that could be saved for some other zombie. That'd be perfect. So, water surge is happening. Snow pea goes right there for the next zombie, and we can keep moving. Yet another zombie popping up over here, and I think I wanna get cabbage pulp for some of these ones, just because I'm a little bit worried of a uh, Okay, so it looks like he still was able to reach the rake there, unfortunate, but um, just because I'm a little bit nervous of things like uh, the pigeon zombie showing up and causing us issues, I will say there's the pigeon zombie right there. We'll put this here, and I'll start putting up more snow peas if I can. We gotta be careful and try to protect a lot of stuff here. Oh man, I think it's time for another cabbage, but we'll put it over there. We probably wanna put one on the bottom lane too. There's a lot going on. Cabbage pole here, lily pad there, and then bamboo shoot there. Running out of sun a little bit. So I probably wanna put a snow pea on the top lane. Put more lily pads out wherever I can. Okay, well not exactly where I wanted the snow pea, but it's fine. And then I can also put some umbrella leaves over here, but I gotta keep in mind with how the water is surging, that might change things up a little bit. If I can get one more sun, at the least I can do this. And maybe get one blast on these guys. I do have the candy machine here too if we need it. The water surge is coming in again. Okay. None of the zombies get pushed out, so that is just something to keep in mind. I'll do this and I'll put the lily pad here because I really want to slow you down. Unfortunately, some of our plants are getting eaten here, so this might just be the time to use the candy machine. And boom, get that done. That wasn't so bad, but it could definitely be better. Um, some more lily pads out here. Probably our best bet. This is definitely a tough level so far. Cabbage pole over this way. And we're doing okay. But I, oh no. Oh no, my bamboo shoot. That's not so good. And I guess it maybe holds him off for a little bit. I wish that the bamboo shoot could have actually fired during that, but unfortunately it didn't. I'm a little bit nervous about this lane. Uh, maybe I could set up one of these. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and torch this whole thing. I think that might be the best idea. We've got the Grapes of Wrath coming in too. So at this rate, I think we just boom, boom, get something like that out. It would've been really nice to have gotten some walnuts or something, but unfortunately we did not. Okay, um, I wanna get this here. Even now, this is so much. And I just have to hope we can make something happen. I will just use the leap pads to slow them down. The water surge will mix things up a little bit. 
but maybe it spreads around the bamboo shoots a bit more, so that's not too bad of a deal. The bamboo shoots are sort of our best bet, but that Gargantuar marching down the lane is terrifying. Okay, I think my best bet then is maybe just getting rid of everybody else so that Mo can knock out the Gargantuar. Even that might end up being really, really challenging. We'll have to wait and see. I'll put a lily pad up on top. And we'll keep going in these other spots. Let me put something up there, because I do see at least one zombie over that way. Come on, I think we got rid of them. Now for this other lane. Yeah, okay, so Moe's gonna get rid of you. I think that's fine. And this also visually clears out a lot of stuff. Did that just spawn in more pigeons up there, though? Oh, it might have, it might have. Okay, let me just do this as like an evasive maneuver, just in case. But I think we're fine, I think we're fine. If you could stop making pigeons, that'd make things even more fine. Okay, put an umbrella leaf right here so you don't have anything to chew on. Oh no, wrong button. So I still had to use, you know, one power up and uh, all the starting stuff, but we're building up a win streak this way, so that's amazing. All right, law and clear. Everybody is so happy about it. And we get 164 coins. You know what, I might as well double it. All right, so there is round one done with trying to earn up this win streak. So we should be able to get, you know, an extra rake for free here. We need four tickets in total to deactivate the Z-Fog generator. So we're gonna get back into it. Three more levels left to tackle, and this is what I love to see. We'll be able to get a lightning read here too. Uh, so if I could maybe just get a second rake, see how this goes for us. Because two rakes, that's pretty good. If I can just build up that win streak. I'd be happy to see it. So the rake trap, two of them set up right away. We have one lightning green and one sunflower was also another benefit to this level. Usually the few levels after a hard or very hard level are usually like a little bit more palatable. I think that'll be the case this time. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and try to get as many sunflowers out to earn up sun. Eventually I'll probably wanna move them around. But where's our first zombie gonna pop up? that there, and then I think, okay, an imp down this way. So I'll start zapping you like that, but yeah, both of these imps are probably gonna end up hitting the rakes. That is what it is, yeah. But this zombie is gonna get pretty well zapped by uh, two lightning reefs, so that's at least something. I'll get another one up here, just to start working on all of that. And if I could get one more lightning read, probably in the center lane again, I think that'd be for the best. There we go. Feels like a pretty good strategy for the time being. I'm just gonna build some flowers sort of like in this, uh, the shape of a C, I guess. Whenever I get the opportunity to. I think for here, okay, wait a minute. Get an umbrella leaf maybe right over this way. Yeah, I think the umbrella leaves out there is probably one of our better bets for the time being. I'll get a couple more sunflowers out just here and there. What I mostly want, maybe way out here, is a snow pea to slow all this stuff down. Because the pigeons are coming in and that's gonna make everything difficult. Another lightning root right there is also a good idea. They're gonna chew through that umbrella leaf in a moment. Maybe, maybe not. Hold on, we got hope here. This is working. So. That's doing its thing. Some flowers are working over time as well. I think we will get another lightning read out here because more imps are coming out. The more the lightning reads, the better we're gonna be in terms of the situation, I think. Maybe a sunflower out this way. There we go. Okay. Let's do that. Just more snow peas out there as we're preparing for the third flag of zombies now. And I think because of that, I'll do another lightning read there. Got it. And I guess a snow pea here. I wanna make sure that we get one on every lane if I can, or at least most of them. We have it all but one at the moment. There we go. The Grapes of Wrath coming out, also doing some extra damage. Always good to see. Yeah, I think we'll just, uh, it's only in the center that we don't have it, so I'll just put it in the back like this. There you go. I mean, I think that this is more or less a situation where now we can just sort of chill back and see where the zombies are coming out from. I mean, we have this Gargantuar here, so maybe do that. 
Oh boy. But I think we're mostly fine. I'm gonna speed things up for a second just to see. Couple more lightning reads out this way. Got it, got it, got it. Last one here. Okay, get rid of that imp and really just try to tear you up. And then when you do that, I boom, slow you down again. Gotcha. And then while that's happening, I might as well put a lightning read here instead. There we go, so that it's just more damage coming at you. The snow pee on that lane couldn't have done anything. So boom, a lot more coins. That was a fun level, so we can move forward with that one. Nice, so two more levels left to go. We're earning up that win streak. Oh, but will the win streak end here? Because it's a very hard level. We do have the lightning read and the Tangle Cup. These are very promising plants, but I'm gonna go ahead and get even more power-ups sort of slotted in here because this could still be a disaster, especially with the current moving towards the end of the level. That is never, ever a good sign. This is actually terrifying. Oh man, the current moves to the left right now, which means whenever the current activates, they're gonna be moving closer to just defeating me. And that's, I really don't want that for obvious reasons. So I need to be very careful with which plants we put out here. We don't have any kind of, uh, what's it called here? Uh, here, I'm gonna put this here. It's just to make that rake last a little bit longer. We don't have any kind of uh, lily pad here to help us out either. And that's just all oh so terrifying. So I think just getting out as many sunflowers as possible, that one's gonna get tangle kelped, and that's pretty good. So just a little bit more here, and then we're gonna start working on lightning reeds instead, I think. Um, here, boom, get that there so that you are dealt with, and then, ooh, umbrella leaf right here. Get on out of here. That's at least something. Maybe behind that, I put a bonk choy, and I put a lightning reed in the back. Okay, might be one of my best bets for now. Uh, we need more sunflowers, I think. So maybe one here. And we're gonna have to replace that with other plants soon enough, but this is just so stressful to me. I feel like there's just so many things that can go wrong here. But for now, the bong choy's hard at work. I think that one zombie, we're just gonna leave it to the rake. And then here comes another swinging zombie. I need to put a tangle kelp over there. So maybe I could just, here, do something like that. Put a lightning reed out there too. I need to tangle kelp one of them. I was hoping to get the bucket head with that, but didn't really quite work the way I needed it to. Ooh, this is already getting scary. This is already getting real scary. I'm gonna do this, because I need more on the center of it. Luckily, the bonk choice survived over there. Was not really expecting it at this rate. Maybe I can get a tangle kelp for that one bucket head. I think that'd be the best case scenario. Come on, come on. Yes, not gonna use the candy machine just yet. That's why I'm... Happy to see right now. Um, we need another umbrella leaf on the bottom. At least it seems like it to me. Okay, well, actually I'd rather bounce you back than worry about the uh, the bowling zombie for now. And then I can do this. Oh man, put this here. Get rid of the bucket head as soon as possible because it's such a tough zombie to deal with. I am very engaged in the moment at trying to survive all this. If we could somehow make the candy machine last, I just accidentally hit it. <laughs> I was trying to click sun. Okay, well, there we go. It's gone, it's fine. I mean, I'm really bummed by that, but it is what it is. We are going to do this, and then I think Tangle Kelp you. That definitely means I need, yeah, Umbrella Leaf here. Wait, well, why didn't you get Tangle Kelp? What? I definitely put it there, it's gone. Was there two on top of each other and I just didn't even notice? Had to be the case. Absolutely had to be, because I don't know what else happened there. Uh, that was very weird. The final wave is now approaching, and things are looking a little scary because of that. We definitely need to put an umbrella leaf over here. And then I think maybe over this way I can do this. Come on, bong choys, I need you to punch, punch away. I'm gonna dig up this sunflower, do something like this, put another one there. Oh man, come on. Got it. Okay, cool, gargantuar marching in. I don't know what a Tangle Cup's gonna do to our Gargantuar, but I would love to find out. Um, here, let's put this here. It might at least damage you a little bit. Yeah, it seems like it did. That's cool. Okay, what can I do here then to make all this work? I think for right now, we put some flowers out on the other lanes and just really try to buy some time that way. Okay, so another sunflower out here seems like a good idea. And then as soon as you know, you're done doing that. 
I can't really get lightning reads on the other lanes. It just won't really reach him. So I think at this rate, we just get a Bong Choy behind you and just punch away and then try to slow you down as much as possible to get that damage out there. I think that's our best bet for a bit here. Keep you there, keep you there. Oh, you're out of punching range. I can't believe it. I mean, Mo is still here. Somehow we were able to defeat that one bucket head before uh, Mo reached it either. You know, so that that's good. I can't believe we got through that level. We had to use a lot of power, but we didn't use any of the in-level power up. So overall, I'd say that was very successful. All right. That means we are one level away from being able to get the next thing happening. But for this one, I think we just need to uh, enjoy our three Peter here. Look at this. So we got the full win streak set up. It's not a hard or very hard level. So I think we're good just to enjoy the benefits of that. Awesome. So ready, set, plant. And we do have this current, but it's moving to the right instead of to the left. So breathing a whole lot easier. No lily pads this time, it's a sunflower, walnut, pea shooter, and umbrella leaf. So that does mean that that bottom lane is really out in the open. There's not really too many plants I can put there. So I think getting a walnut out there sooner rather than later would probably be a good idea. But we know the first zombie is gonna show up over here, so we might as well put a pea shooter there. And if I really want to, I could put a walnut there too. But I don't wanna get too carried away. Let's prioritize. The sunflowers, you know what, yeah, let's do that. And then boom, got it. Because we have extra sun, we have the candy machine, we, ha we have a rake. Lots of possibilities here, for sure. And this one, imp, the water surge is gonna happen. It's not even gonna be a problem for us. Oh, and it's actually creating lily pads, so that's good. I definitely need to get a pea shooter over here then, and then if I could get another walnut right about there. Water surge happening again. Gonna make another lily pad. Most of them I think I'm just gonna dedicate to uh, some flowers. I feel like that might be my best, but, but at the same time, there's a lot of zombies showing up on that lane when there really shouldn't be. It's a little messed up that they're doing that. Uh, okay, umbrella leaf over here to bounce you back. Excellent. Okay, that really shows to me that I need to start getting more pea shooters in some other spots. So maybe about there, got it. And then maybe over here, I can set that up. More sunflowers, if not anything else, we can slow down some zombies with it. But I, oh yeah, I didn't even notice the candy machine. I wasn't even looking for it. Oh well, it's fine. It buys me some time. That's good enough. Got it. More imps are still showing up and trying to get to that rake. Yeah, that's how good we're doing. We still have the rake here. Water surge is happening again. Get an umbrella leaf right there to send you flying backwards. And do something like that, please. Got it. Because the other pea shooter sort of moved over to the side. I think once again, we put a walnut here. I get a sunflower out this way, maybe. I mean, I have a lot of sunflowers. I don't know if I need any more. I think what I need to do is make sure that we have two pea shooters on every lane at any given moment of time. So let's do that here. And then maybe I can put this on. I dug it up before, but I think that now it's fine. I do need another umbrella leaf. Maybe here. Oh, it's so stressful. Okay. I think I'll put it here. We have so many sunflowers, but I feel like not that much sun. Okay, Grapes of Wrath really doing its thing over there. I will work on getting rid of this zombie. It pushes it back a little too, which is great. Okay, another pea shooter there, and then I need another one up behind that umbrella leaf, I believe. We're again there. So, Gargantua is now rushing in. I'm not a fan of that, but it really depends on how the water surge happens here, what I actually end up doing. Hmm. Right now, yeah, okay, it did not push him back. So I will, just for now, put out as many pea shooters as possible and hope that that eventually gets the job done. So you're gonna squish that. I'm gonna do this. But if this happens, he's probably gonna get pushed over here. The longer we can keep him in the water though, the, the more he might be able to get pushed back. So I'm just trying to buy that time. It costs a lot of sun, obviously. So if I could dig up some of that stuff to make space. Okay, he's out of the water. So that strategy's sort of done. Um, so I'll do something like this. Just trying to buy time. Oh. Okay, maybe slow it back down. I 
will just do what I can to slow this down. There we go, we got him, awesome. So no need to use Mo or anything, the lawn is clear. We get a bunch of gravestones and we can keep going. So that was four levels done. Which means, da 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 da, we can go over here, deactivate the Z fog generator. This is gonna be huge, then Mo doesn't have to destroy themselves just to you know, be able to get through this. A big red off button, huh? This almost seems too easy. Oh no, oh no, we're trapped. Surprise, fools! It is I, Dr. Edgar Zombos. You have fallen right into my trap. How pathetically, predictably pathetic. Oh no, we've been caught by Zombos. Come down here and say that to my monitor, you coward. Ha, my Z-Fog must have pick pickled your self-preservation subroutines. Unfortunately, you're worth more to me alive as bait. Keep an eye on them, Tugboat. I have much bigger, scruffier, crazier fish to fillet. If you touch one hair on Creator Dave's body, I will hunt you to the end of the earth. Do whatever you want to the pig dog. <laughs> Come on, Mo. Save your exhaust, Mo. We've gotta find a way out of here. Follow my lead. Whoa, so we've been trapped by Dr. Zomboss. But now, we have to bribe Tugboat. Before we do that, let's take a little break from the action here and play Vase Breaker. We can get 15 minutes of infinite brain time if we want, so I might as well give that a try. So, ready, set, break. And I'm just gonna break them all at once and see how that goes. I think Bong Choi will either make us or break us here. I mean, two Bong Choi should be able to get through a bucket head, no problem. Yeah, there we go. Awesome, <laughs> we win that. So it's only a couple minutes of, uh, of uh, brain time, but. It's still fun. I wish we could get maybe a little bit more of a reward out of those. Even if it was just once a day, getting like one or two power-ups, I feel like that's a little bit more worth it in my opinion. Either way, let's move to the next level with our win streak going on still. Um, this seems pretty doable. It's just, you know, snow peas and stuff. So we'll start with bonus sun. This water does not have a current, but what's diffi difficult about it, of course, is that we don't have lily pads. Okay, so for right now, I mean, I think we mostly want snow peas. We know that the first zombie's gonna show up there because of the rake, so it makes it a little bit more obvious on like what we're supposed to work towards. But I can get that stuff there. The zombies are on their way. It's gonna be an imp. I don't know if the snow peas gonna be able to defeat them by the time the uh, the imp reaches the rake. Well, we're gonna find out. I don't think I wanna put out a squash for it. Come on, come on. Oh, you're kidding me. I don't know, I feel like it was about to get destroyed. A little unfortunate, but we got other zombies marching around here that we have to deal with, so we're just moving on. If I could get one more sun, and start fighting off you a little bit, that's pretty good. And I can start putting some sunflowers down. Okay. So with the water being here, it makes it a lot less stressful just because uh, it slows them down a bit more. And it's also the current's not pushing them around. It's not like, it, it's just stagnant water. Okay, so far so good, but a huge wave of zombies is approaching. I think it's time to do this right there. Okay. And we gotta also make sure we get some snow peas on the other lanes. So if I could get one more sun, that's a snow pea up there. I'm a little bit worried for this lane, so I might just squash for now. And maybe, boom, get the imp as well. Very fortunate. All right. I can get one more sun there. That's the snow pea on every single lane as we're getting through this first flag of two of them. Let me get that out there. I think we got this covered so far, but I wanna keep it moving just to be sure on that and start getting uh, bamboo shoots wherever I can get them, which right now, up here seems to be the best bet. Then I can accompany the side lanes with more pea shooters. I'm not pea shooters, sunflowers. We got enough uh, pea shooters for now. I'll do a bamboo shoot over here, sunflowers there. We can also squash some of the uh, more unfortunate zombies to deal with. That was so many zombies actually, that was great. 
Awesome. And this is the last flag of them, so I can go ahead and activate the candy machine just like that and get rid of the rest of them. Now that was a smooth level. Exactly what we wanna see. Plenty of prizes coming in. I enjoyed that one. 50 coins as well. Lots of stuff working towards our favor. Okay, so with that done, we still need to do two more before we can start bribing Tugboat. Level 170 does finally have lily pads and of course, Tangle Kelp. So maybe we could do a couple of things here. Let's see. That's a lot of water, but no, uh, what's it called? There's no um, current to the water, so that's at least good. Okay, I think the Sunflower will be available first, so boom. Boom, got it. And there's some Tangle Kelp actually in front of the uh, the rake already, so that's convenient. You can work on getting Tangle Kelp out on the other lanes. So I got one right there. Very nice, very nice. Now I probably wanna start, yeah, working on that back there so we can start getting Snow Peas out soon. Got it, got it. Okay. So I'm waiting to see exactly where I might want to get out our first snow pea. It looks like right down here. Seems like a good choice to me because of course we can't put Tangle Kelp there. So if we beef up the side lanes first, I feel like that's a good idea. Work on the water lanes as it goes along because we got the Tangle Kelps to help us there. So I could do like a cabbage pulled up this way. It seems good. And that zombie's also gonna get tangled up. I'm gonna make this thing last as long as possible. Here we go, here we go. I think the rig's gonna get knocked out here, which is, you know, it is what it is. It was gonna happen eventually. Might as well happen now. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Do I have the facilities to deal with this? I think so. Okay, I don't have an umbrella leaf, so swing zombies are actually a little bit scary, but I can do, ah, uh, that was the wrong plant. Darn. Uh, this is a lot, so I'm gonna get rid of the cone head over there. We're gonna get a frozen, or snow pea over that way. And then do something like this. Yeah, especially with more zombies jumping down now. Another zombie swinging in. It might be a good idea. There we go. Sunflower's still hard at work here, but I think I'll do a cabbage pulp there and keep working on this stuff. In the meantime, another sunflower here. Cabbage pulp may be here now. I see this bucket head coming up. Hold on. Actually, I'm just gonna tangle cut the bucket head. It still seems like it might be worth it though to get a cabbage pulp there. It's just a little difficult for now. So I'll just do it in the back here and then leap out this one if possible. And this is the last flag actually. So we can go ahead and activate the candy machine already. We are zooming through these levels like nothing else. It's great. Uh, boom, and slow you down while I speed everything else up. And the Grapes of Wrath are here to finish things off too. All right, there we go. The lawn is clear, we get a bunch of coins. That was pretty fun. So that means what, one more stage, if I'm not mistaken? Oh, it's gonna be a hard mode stage too. What do we got for this one? Ooh, should I do a second rank? Let's see, I have a lot of extra rakes. So let me go ahead and use one of those to get through this. There is a current, the current's a little odd, but it will end up pushing zombies a little to the left on one of them, and also off the map in some spots. So what I think we probably wanna do then is just sort of wait and see what might be the best course of action here. Okay, got it. And I think, where's the first zombie gonna pop up? It's gonna be one of these twos, obviously, so maybe I'll just wait to see which one makes like the first step out. There's the current moving. You can see how that's a little bit scary. No lily pad showing up from that, though. I don't know how much we'll actually use the pea shooter here, because I figured maybe snow pea and bamboo shoot would actually be better. I'm just gonna cut the loss here and let one of them hit the rake. The other one will probably hit the rake, too. But there's that. And then, yeah, as soon as one of them hits it, I can just, boom, do that. Get more sunflowers out. And then over this way, huh? That should be fine enough. I wish we had some walnuts here too, but unfortunately, no. 
Gonna do this for now. Really just try to beef up that top lane, because that's like where all the zombies are gonna be moved up to if they are in the water at that time. So I can get a bamboo shoot over here. I think these guys might actually end up activating the candy machine, which is sort of a shame. Uh, the water surge is a little too late. Yeah, it's fine. So there we go, boom. Knocking out a lot of zombies with that one way or another though. And we need to start slowing down you. But since I don't think it's gonna do enough damage to you for a while, maybe I should get a Tangle Kelp out. We have nine Sunflowers, really working hard here. I will do this. I will keep things going and we'll get our last Snoopy on the bottom lane, just to make sure everything is safe. Boom. And if I have any extra space, I guess it should be used for Sunflowers on like spots like these. Whenever I have the spare moment to. Okay, I think it's time for a bamboo shoot right here to really start to blow away this buckethead zombie. There you go, much better, much better. And then another sunflower here, seems like it would do the trick. I wanna be careful, I don't know if Tangle Kelp can be water surged. I don't know if I wanna find out the hard way. <laughs> uh, but I guess I could grab at least one of these guys. Go. Oh, the Grapes of Wrath coming in too is actually a huge help. Let's replace the sunflowers where I can. Because it's really just everything that's scary on this top lane. Okay, so if I could, ooh, definitely get you. So the water surge is coming in. Will it move the Tangle Kelp? It will move the Tangle Kelp. Good to know. And that you sort of see how that's sort of an issue. It pushed them all closer to the plants up there. The final wave is approaching and things might get bad. Um, ooh, okay. We did make it through and I might be able to tangle kelp this bucket head. If I do, it'll sort of save me. Um, but it might just grab the imp instead. No, grab the bucket head. Come on, come on. No! All right, uh, okay, they got pushed away. This is my chance to make some things happen. Ooh, this is scary. I guess we, we have a lot of sun. I need to start working on slowing down zombies in these other lanes as much as possible. And then hoping that Mo can maybe clean things up on that other side, because this is a lot. Um, I'll do this here. I will, like I said, ooh, this is bad. This is bad over this way. I think I might just have to do this and then start working on all of these guys as much as possible. There we go. Sunflower here to slow them down. Okay, good enough. I'm, I'm very bothered by the fact that I had to use a chili pepper there, but if it continues the win streak, that's very, very important. We're pushing the zombie back a lot with these, which is good. I just feel like we needed more on the top there. Okay, let's see if the Tangle Kelp is enough damage. It at least does something. There we go. And it pushed him back again, crazy. So I think over time, yeah, there we go. We eventually defeat him. We get the long clear. Awesome. So, 153 coins, not too bad. The win streak is really changing up a lot. Um, over here, it looks like we have enough tickets. Let's go ahead and bribe Tugboat. Psst, hey, you, in the brown coat. Let us out of here and we'll give you anything you want. Tugboat? A tugboat? Er, uh, we well don't have one of those. How about a nice kayak or a catamaran instead? Ooh, that didn't work, did it? Patrice, Mo, are you in here? Oh, where could they be? First Twister runs off and now this? What a cluster frackle. Surprise, fool! It is I, Dr. Edgar Zombos. Don't make any sudden moves or I'll pulverize your precocious pals. Patrice, Mo, let him go, Zomboss. This brumple beef is between you and me. <laughs> oh, I'll release them, but I will require something in return. <laughs> let the negotiations begin. Oh no, negotiate with Dr. Zomboss. All right, well, he's chilling out up there. I'm gonna go ahead and play another level right over here. This one has lightning reed, bong choy, and umbrella leaf, no sun. That is a little nerve wracking, it looks like we have. Whoa, zombies already out on the field. Let's uh, do something about that, uh, I guess, right now. This is weird. This is a very, very odd level. I got the umbrella loop to protect things there. I think we just try to start zapping with these guys as soon as possible. I and mean, that's my best bet. Okay, go, go, go. And it's, I mean, 
Okay. Uh, this level's weird. Uh, there you go. That helps out a little bit, right? <laughs> I can just activate the candy machine. None of the zombies are gonna hit the rake. What a weird level. I mean, I guess this one's supposed to be like some kind of puzzle deal. I don't know. Anyways, we're just waiting for you over there. The only downside is I gotta wait for you to move like that. But then a couple of punches, a couple of jabs from the bong choy, and you're done. Very nice, a couple of extra coins, but not too much. What was with that one? <laughs> I don't know, I'm happy to get an easier level though, don't get me wrong. So, let's try our next one. Level 173 has a Sunflower, Pea Shooter, Lightning Reed, Bong Choy, and Tangle Cup. Let's go for it. So, this is a hard mode level. I'm pretty nervous. Maybe I should have gotten some upgrades. We'll have to wait and see if this is gonna be enough. But we have a lot of lily pads out here, but no replacements for them. I feel like we had a level like this before and it was not that fun. Uh, so I'm a little concerned on how this one might turn out, but we will do what we can. Right now it's all about some flowers and sooner or later I'll get some uh, lightning reads out. So there's not too much I can do to stop that first zombie. I'm going to leave it, let it do its thing. If it wants to knock out my uh, precious wraith, you know, that's what it's there for. And the first actual zombie I'm worried about is popping up over here. So I can do that and then get another sunflower out here in just a second. Ooh, maybe. I might want to deal with you. See, this is where things get intense fast. Because I don't want to lose any lily pads straight away. So it might be better to use the candy machine sooner. I think it is. I think I got, I'm just gonna use it right here. Do not eat my sunflower. Come on, get out of here. That is a little ridiculous to say the least, but we're getting somewhere now. I just, I do not wanna le le lose <laughs> any of these uh, lily pads. All right, keep this going. Maybe time to save up for a bong choy. It really is it's starting to seem like it. This is a lot. So you know what, maybe just a little bit farther, I will boom, boom, boom. Got it, got it, got it. We definitely need another one for all those bucket heads. But that's gonna require a little bit more sun than I currently have, so we need to save up in a major way. Bong choy, go, 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 do not get devoured. Do not get devoured. Oh, that's gonna get devoured, darn. This is looking disastrous. Unless we can really make some moves soon. We might have a bad situation coming up. Okay, lily pad is gone. It is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and try to grab one of these. Grab one of the stronger ones. Yes, it got the bucket head. That's at least good. Bong Choi is definitely a difference maker here, but I don't know if this is gonna be enough and we're losing more lily pads. Ooh, okay. Sunflower there. Yeah, this is actually, I, this might be game over already. That is so upsetting. If I can get a bong choy here, maybe just maybe, and then get lightning reads in that spot there, maybe? <laughs> it's possible that this could work? Oh, come on. I'll do this. You know what? I'm gonna use my last chili pepper right there. But like, what do we do for the rest of this? You know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> I don't know how to feel. All these extra benefits, and this it still just falls apart so easily. I'm gonna put a as many Tangle Kelp out as I can on those spots. And then I think when this last flag comes out, it might be just a matter of putting out a couple of cherry bombs and seeing how things go. So. Uh, how do I wanna do this? Maybe. Wait a little bit longer. I definitely need a cherry bomb this group. Like it's undeniable I think at this point. So I'll do that. And then maybe I can lightning read you. Angle kelp this zombie. And then once they're all bundled up like this, we've already used Mo. There's like three bucket heads there. I think we just cherry bomb it. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I don't see that being very doable. We do get uh, 153 coins out, so that's pretty cool. So, do we have enough? We do, negotiate with Dr. Zomboss. What do you want, Eddie? And make it quick. I've got a grackle town to save. 
That's Dr. Zomboss to you, and I'm afraid you're too late. The town you know and love is already gone. <laughs> Neighborville stunk anyway, with its terrible taste in science fair projects. We really are a second-rate inventor, or you really are a second-rate inventor, you know. <laughs> Most of this stuff is just terrible. An aerial hot tub? Ridiculous. However, I did find one item in, in here that piqued my interest. <gasps> my Dave Tech anti-catalyte beacon. Er, I mean, Jub Donker, what's that thing? Wait, what, wait it's anti-catalyte? What is that? Don't play dumb with me. I know a satellite beacon with a positronic mind control matrix when I see one. <laughs> Tell you what, old chum, rebuild it for me or your friends will be mechanical frog chow. Oh no. We need to start rebuilding the beacon. That's not good. So this might be the last of the levels we go for today. Rebuilding the beacon. We need three tickets for it. So let's try level 174 where you get more lightning read. That's always good to me. Let's get it set up. So, ready. Set, plant. And I'll start with the sunflower right over there. Looks like there's not much I can do to protect that top lane rake because we just don't really have like any spots to put anything in. But for right now, what I can do is just put a lot of sunflowers down as I typically tend to. So that's what we'll focus on. And for a zombie just up there. Luckily it's a normal zombie and not an imp. I don't know why, but when I let the imps hit the rakes, it just feels like a waste because they're supposed to have a, only a little bit of health, but in this game they still have like a good chunk. So I guess no matter what, it's fine. Okay, maybe a snow pea to start things off. It's a little bit more affordable, which means I can help build more sunflowers out and then get the lightning roots out after. There we go. Now that there's an imp coming in too, I think I put the lightning right here and it starts zapping you guys as well. How does that feel? Almost finished up with my sunflowers here, I think. That bottom lane, a little stressful because I don't have anything to stop that many zombies. So maybe I shouldn't have put that sunflower there. A little bit of a mistake, but it's okay. I mean, worst case scenario, they activate the candy machine, but I'd really rather them not. Come on, please, please, please get rid of them. There it is, yes! Ooh, close one for sure. And now that more zombies are popping up, I don't feel as you know bad about the candy machine being used here if it needs to be, but I'll get a second lightning read over here. And then I think we will do, this is like plenty of sunflowers for now, I think. We want to work on maybe a Snoopy here to slow some things down. And then, unfortunately they ate that sunflower so fast. I need to get more lightning reads out somewhere. I think that would have to be, ooh, I'm a little bit nervous down there. I was really hoping that that wouldn't get zapped, or that candy machine wouldn't be activated, but whatever. Uh, There, that's fine. Do another snow pee there. And we have one flag coming up. So I think we'll speed things up just for a second. Snow pee up there. Ooh. Definitely a lot. I think we'll probably want the walnut right there. And just keep working on everything else as much as we can. It seems like out of the two of them, there's more zombies up here. So if I could just boom, boom. And then I need more sun. So maybe someone that's center lane, just like this. That might be my best move I can make here. I'm trying to debate where I want to use the squash. I have a feeling I'm going to want it up here. So doing that is our best bet for now. Another walnut there. Yeah, I think that was the best spot for the squash because you can see there's a lot going on in. Ooh, we get rid of all of them. The Grapes of Wrath can focus on the rest of them. That should be a pretty strong cleanup. Awesome. Yeah, that guy. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. We didn't have to use any kind of power up there. And that's good. Just the ones that we get for our win streak. So, really nice stuff. And that means we still have two more levels left to do. This one is very hard, which can be scary, especially since we don't have the chili anymore. The, the, the cold, or no, the hot chili pepper. So maybe I'll do something like this. Maybe I don't need two candy machines. Maybe just two breaks would be enough for me to get ahead a little bit more. Let's try it. It's a very hard level, not just a hard level. That's where things can get scary. But 
It's time for a sunflower. I'm just gonna put them wherever I can fit them for the time being. Two rakes on the same place I was not expecting. The current's gonna push the zombies closer to our base. So we get two lightning reeds right off the bat, but it's the only ones we get. We don't get any extra that we can place. Not in our arsenal, unfortunately. Okay. Got it. And yeah, I'm totally fine with the rakes being used here. Sort of how it works. And I guess for now, like I said, we'll just have like a whole army of, oh no, you don't. Whole army of sunflowers built out that we can slowly replace later. So two rakes will hopefully do the trick for a bit. And I think I'll do a snow pea there. The umbrella leaf will push you back. Yeah, that top lane a little bit scary to say at least this one up here. Cause what do I play here, you know? I don't know. Uh, That one's actually, yeah, really, really odd. Maybe I should have put a plant behind that. Walnut, that might've been a better idea. Speaking of walnut, I probably should have put one in front of that one uh, zombie, but I don't have one. So unfortunate for me, I'm just gonna have to do some other stuff. Ugh, this is already pretty tough. Gonna do this here, the umbrella leaf because of the swinging zombie and also you can see a bowling zombie coming in too. I don't have a squash or anything, so I might just have to do this. Do something like that and then I'm going to need something over there. So it might as well be a bamboo shoot, I think. This is a lot, a whole bunch. But we are slowly getting there. Okay, they got through my walnut. That could spell disaster. Yeah, what do you do for that lane? I might use a sunflower to just slow them down for an extra second. I accidentally used the candy machine there, I think. Boom, we knocked out a lot of the zombies uh, with it though. So it's something. The last flag is still not here. We're only on the second of three, so. It just feels like a lot of bad things can happen. Um, let's see, snow pea here, sunflower there. And then if we can, maybe get another walnut one step farther up here. Okay. Oh, just barely bounced you back in time. And what I would like to do is earn up enough sun to replace this walnut with just something else. Even if it's a snow pea, just slow them down. I think that's my best bet there. Okay. Got it. And I just basically have to keep an eye on that spot to make sure that it all stays nice and good. And then maybe doing this and that for now. And just hoping with the Grapes of Wrath coming in, we can maybe, you know, make it last a bit longer. Okay. I will do this. I'll put a walnut here. I don't know if that was a good idea, but it's like one of my only chances to make something work here. I need one more, boom. Bamboo shoot for this lane is definitely necessary at this rate. This is so intense. There's so much going on. I will uh, just wait it out. I need a one up there, but I, I, maybe I don't, maybe I don't. Wow. Uh, okay, so while this is a lot, I can go over here and get that set up. I can get another bamboo shoot there. I need to work on that gargantua as much as possible wherever I can. I'll get a sunflower wherever we just don't need um, any extra plants. And then get a walnut here for sure. There we go. So that shouldn't slow those zombies for long enough. If a water surge comes in, that might be an issue. I don't need a walnut here anymore. So if we just get another bamboo shoot, we can keep pushing him back basically perpetually. Yeah, there we go, there we go. He might not even be able to slam anything. It's crazy that he can miss his slam that way when you think about it, it's really, really cool. Okay, this is a little bit scary, but if one bamboo shoot can hit that imp, there we go. That makes all the difference it needs to. And then, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's still got the one, okay. At this rate, we just speed things up. We push you all the way back to the beginning. That's so crazy. There we go, we got him, I can't believe it. We didn't have to use any extra power-ups. All right, very cool. Let's keep it going now. All right, uh, so as it currently stands, we need one more ticket, but it's not a hard or a very hard level, so I'm happy to do this one. So, let's go for it, get that right there, and 
I'll just set up as much as I can wherever I can. This is a much simpler level in concept because I only have a few plants I can place. Let's see, I'm gonna put this right here. Got it. And, ooh, there we go. So far, so good. Oh, you know, let me go ahead and squash you. There we go. <laughs> that feels nice to me. I'll do it. Especially since it's not a hard mode level, but also it's still three flags we need to get through here. It could still end up being an issue. Eventually, I'm gonna get some bong choys out here too. But for now, okay, we need this here. That pea shooter should be able to get rid of that imp without it being too detrimental. And now this ray can knock out the normal brown coat. Okay, there we go. We've extended the life of it a little bit, and that's always good. Because we still don't even have the first huge wave coming in just yet. Okay, down here is starting to get a little bit scary, but that is where I just uh, put a bong choy down there too. Just like that. And we're getting pretty lucky with the rest of the zombies spawning in. Got it, there. Ooh, we do not have an umbrella leaf for zombies like this. So if I could do that really fast, I'm a little bit worried about also this right here, he might acti activate it. Oh, okay, I was trying to stop you with the sunflower or something. That's probably the worst case use for the the cone head. I'm really bummed out by that. Okay, another sunflower up there. Just trying to squeeze this in wherever we can. We have a sunflower on, I mean a pea shooter on every lane now, so that's good. All right, uh, how do I wanna do this? Probably that. And make sure we get two per lane now until we can fill more stuff out with bong choice, but that's gonna take some time. So if I could, just put this here, got it. I think I wanna squash this group over this way when we get the chance. Then we have enough to, boom, do that. Now I'll need that one right there once we have enough sun and once it's reloaded. We'll get there soon enough. The third flag is gonna come in soon, but for right now we're just dealing with this one. I think we'll be okay. I think for now I might wanna try saving for bong choice, but the Grapes of Wrath are gonna buy me some time and that's exactly what I needed. So I might wanna be a bit hesitant. We might wanna wait to see which uh, zombies pop up where before I decide, okay, this lane definitely needs a bong choy. But I can put out more sunflowers. That should be okay. There we go. Final wave is approaching. What is it gonna end up being? I definitely need a sunflower here. Just anything that might help stop. Oh man. Okay, you know what? What lane are you on? You're on the second at the bottom one. Let's do this and then immediately squash you when you get over to that sunflower. The rest of this should be pretty well handled, I think. Okay, you're gonna squish that, right? So, I will squish you back. How do you like that one? And buy some time like that, Bong Choi can start punching at you. And then as soon as you're in punching range, that's when we wanna start doing some time buying, like that. And just sort of slow you down while you get beaten up pretty well. And there we go, wow, that actually didn't take too long to defeat him. Lawn clear, awesome. And as you can see, we get a lot of gravestones. That was a pretty cool level. And with it, I guess we can get started building this beacon. This is pretty intense. So right over here, start rebuilding the beacon. Do it. A mind control satellite beacon? What's he talking about, Uncle Dave? I built it to draw all the cats away from Neighborville, okay? I fruitful can't stand cats. I wasn't gonna hurt him or anything, just leave them somewhere far, far away from me. <laughs> and now I'll use it to crush any last vis vestiges for of resistance. Nothing will stop me from ruling Zumburbia with an iron fist. Now, get to work. The sooner you're done, the sooner I can fulfill my end of the bargain and release your pals. <laughs> But would he really hold up his end of the bar bargain? Several grueling elbow something hours later. Hey, why did you stop? Keep working or I'll feed your friends to my mechanized frog monster. I can't work like this. Uh, the ground's all uneven. If you expect me to fix this satellite, I'll need a flatter workspace. So, 
build one already. You're old enough to manage your own workflow. Huh, so build a launch pad will be our next one. But I think to do that and to save our friends, we will have to tackle more in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.